Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the end point when you are given a midpoint and an end point. So in this example, we have an end point of 3, 5 and a midpoint of negative 1, negative 3. Which means we have to find our end point, which will be somewhere around here. So if we draw a graph, the end point should be just about here. So let's see how we find this. When you're trying to find an endpoint and already given an endpoint and a midpoint, you're going to use the midpoint formula, but a bit of a modified version. So in case you've forgotten, the midpoint formula goes as follows. So we have midpoint equals x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. So, what we're going to do for this example is we're going to substitute some of these values into this formula to find the second endpoint. So, if we rewrite this formula in sections, so break it up into x and y, we'll do x first, we can pop our values in. So, we do not know what x1 is, since we are trying to find that, as that's the other endpoint. So we'll just write x1 plus, but we do know what x2 is, which is this point up here or here. So x2 is 3 over 2, and that is equal, since our midpoint is negative 1, negative 3, that is equal to negative 1, which is the x value of our midpoint. And then we can do the same for y. So we have y1, which is unknown since it's our endpoint, plus y2, which is 5, over 2 equals negative 3, which is our y value of our midpoint. Now we can just focus on solving these two problems. To get our endpoint, we have to solve for x1 and y1, as that will give us our coordinates for our endpoint, which we're trying to find. So just solve this equation for x1 and this one for y1. So first we want to get rid of this 2 on bottom. So multiply both sides by 2. That will give you x1 plus 3 equals negative 2, since the 2 eliminated here and here, and once you multiply 2 on this side, neg 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. We'll do the same on this side, multiply both sides by 2, that will give us y1 plus 5 equals negative 6. Now we can get rid of the 3 to get x all by itself, so subtract 3 from both sides, which gives us x1 equals negative 3 minus 2, which is negative 5, and y1 equals negative 6 minus 5, which is negative 11. So that gives us our x coordinate of our endpoint as well as our y coordinate of our endpoint. So the endpoint for this case is negative 5, negative 11. Now that we have our endpoint of negative 5, negative 11, we can go back to our graph, and if we go negative 5, so negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that comes down to our endpoint, and negative 11 will be about here, and that also lines up with our endpoint I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a like and even consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.